Here at Lehigh School, we are having our science fair, and this is the finalist fair. We were snowed out with the big one, but we're really excited that the top 60 projects are presenting, and we have about 20 spots that we can send to regionals, and so right now the judges are deciding which of our projects get to go on to the regional fair. It's really important for them to have a science fair because students get an opportunity to practice their own research where they have picked something and they're following it through from beginning to end and then they're actually doing the data analysis and processing and comparing it back to that literature and that's a skill that's really important for the IB sciences, so we're an IB school here. What I found was the law of conservation of angular momentum. I worked on the physics of figure skating. That was the title of my project. That's what I was researching. And it started with me wanting to find out how frequency related to the length that you held your arms away from you when you were spinning. And I wanted to see how the distance between and changing that would affect the speed of the spin. I tried it and my findings at first were kind of all over the place and they didn't match that at all. But then I went back and I found that I'd made mistakes in my mass and once I changed that, all my findings were in the same ballpark and in the same area. My project was about how different lengths of pencil resistors can affect the average current. My conclusions was that as the pencil resistors, the length of it increases, then the average current would decrease. And my family in Vietnam, like they have really bad wiring in their homes and stuff like that, so I was just trying to find like a way to find a use of everyday materials in order to help find a safer way for electricity to flow through the house. At Lee High School, we really want our students to be able to think about and see themselves as a STEM, uh, as pursuing STEM career. And so in the science fair, they get to actually practice those skills themselves. And a lot of them see themselves in a science field or in an engineering field when in the past they've never even considered that. Before, I was always set on the medical field. And then after working um, in, in a physics environment, for the science fair, I was looking into both biology and physics, and I looked into biomedical engineering. So I think researching and also when you have something that I found isn't, you didn't get the results you wanted, kind of sticking with that and being able to keep going is beneficial in any aspect, I think, no matter what career you go into.